second year nursing student from Southwestern University, Finma. And today, I am here to perform the catheter insertion. First is to verify the order. After verifying the order, prepare the materials or gather the materials. The third is to identify the patient and ask if she has an iodine allergy. So you are Miss De La Cruz, ma'am? Yes. So do you have any aller iodine allergies, ma'am? No. Okay. And then ensure privacy. And provide good lightning. And then position the client into a correct position. And then before we start, let's perform hand hygiene. After that, deflate the balloon and leave the syringe connected to the port. Apply sterile lubricant to the first 2.5 to 5 cm, which is 1 to 2 inches of the catheter tip. Attach the catheter to the drainage system and ensure the drainage bag and the port is plumb. Mm -hmm. 
being the key to the sterile field between the patient's lives. With non-dominant hand, identify methods by retracting the lab labia. Hold this position throughout the procedure. With sterile dominant hand, clean the methods with antiseptic solution moving from top to bottom. And then allow the antiseptic to dry. Go. Ask the patient to bear down with sterile dominant hand. Slowly insert the catheter into the urethra until urine flows. Then advance the catheter one to two inches more. Do not force the catheter through the urethra. Okay, ma'am. Can you can you can you inhale deep? Can you deep inhale? Okay. And three, two, one. Okay, good. Hold the catheter with non-dominant hand. Use the sterile dominant hand to fully inflate the catheter balloon. And then remove the syringe. Gently pull the catheter until the suspense is felt. Secure catheter on patient's inner thigh with securement device, strap or plaster. Awesome to give people. Ensure the tubing is not kink and secure the vintage bag to the bed frame below. Dispose used supplies. Lay syringe in sharp container. And then remove the gloves. Assist the patient to a comfortable position. After the procedure, Dispose the used supply and then remove the gloves. After I remove the gloves, assist the patient into a comfortable position. And then lastly, perform hand hygiene. the type and the size of the catheter and balloon, amount of fluid inserted in the balloon, patient reaction to the procedure, and amount of catheter of the urine. And that's all. Thank you!